Hello everyone, welcome to today's Tech Tip Tuesday. Today we'll be taking a look at the performance evaluation feature in SOLIDWORKS 2018 which has been added so that you can drastically improve your large assembly performance and more specifically find areas within your large assembly that can be simplified to improve the efficiency of the assembly. So the first thing that we're going to be doing is opening up our large assembly in SOLIDWORKS 2018. And one thing that you might notice if you haven't used SOLIDWORKS 2018 already is the opening progress bar that has been added in the SOLIDWORKS program, which tells us exactly where in the loading process SOLIDWORKS is, which file it's currently opening, as well as the elapsed time taken to open it, and the amount of time taken the last time the assembly was opened. So using this, you can track exactly where you are in the loading process, as well as whether the program was taking longer to open up the same assembly last time, or if it has been improved now. So once we have this opened up, you'll find the performance evaluation feature under the evaluate tab, and the performance evaluation feature can be seen here. So we'll click that, which opens up the window where we can see a number of different categories that SOLIDWORKS has compiled for us in order for us to take a look at the components. So the first thing that we'll be looking at is the open performance category under which we can see the amount of time taken for each component in descending order, the amount of time taken to open up that specific component. Using this feature, we can see which specific files are taking the longest to load and it will help us narrow down which specific components to look at more closely when trying to simplify our model. Next up is the display performance category under which we can see the first category is the graphics triangles. Graphics triangles is basically the amount of detail contained within a component and so the more graphics triangles that a component has the more amount of detail it will be loaded with. So once again, SOLIDWORKS compiles it into a descending format where we can see the files that have the largest amount of graphics triangles up at the top and so forth and so forth. So if we click show these files, SOLIDWORKS opens it up and we can easily see the file name as well as the configuration, the amount of total triangles and the number of instances of that component within the assembly. So using this component, we can take a look at how we can simplify these components which have the largest amount of graphics triangles, especially if they're ones that don't need to have all this amount of detail within them. Next up, we have the shaded image quality, which is once again another category which tells us the amount of detail within a component. So here we see that we have one part with a medium high quality image set. And we see 212 parts that have a very high image quality set within this assembly. So when we take a look, we can see the tessellation number as well as the configuration that it's in. And with this, you can actually change the image quality by going into SOLIDWORKS and going to Tools, Options, Document Properties, Image Quality, and you can adjust the image quality accordingly to suit your needs. Next up we have the appearance category which tells us the amount of appearances that are contained within each face. So you see here that there's some file names that have been registered with amount of appearances associated beside it. So we can try disabling some appearances on each specific face and applying it overall to the whole body instead to improve performance in this category. Finally, we can take a look at the assembly visualization feature which highlights all of the different components with respect to the different categories that we can categorize it with. So whether it be the amount of total graphics triangles, the open time, or the rebuild time, this helps us easily identify those components in the assembly that are giving us the most amount of graphics triangles. And from there, we can simplify items that we don't need, such as this USB plug that has been shown here and switch that up to low detail in order to improve the performance of that component. So that's how you use the performance evaluation feature in SOLIDWORKS and we'll see you on the next Tech Tip Tuesday. Thank you.